Here we have a two dimensional pivot table that shows month wise sales for all sales executives and the corresponding pivot chart. If we want to filter the pivot table by zone, we know that we can just add zone as a report filter and use it to display data as required. Now slicers work the same way as report filters but they are easier to use. To show how slicers work, let's add a slicer for zone and try it out. Now to insert a slicer, click on any cell inside the pivot table. Then on the analyze tab in the filter group, click insert slicer. Now in the insert slicer dialog box, check zone and click OK. You can move and resize the slicers as required so they fit on the empty areas of the worksheet. Slicer is a visual filter in the form of an interactive button. Using a slicer, you can quickly and easily filter your data, that is, pivot table and chart, by clicking on the type of data you want. Now using the report filter gives the exact same result, just that instead of drop down menus, slicers provide large friendly buttons that are always visible. Let's click on an item in a slicer to filter the pivot table. For example, uh, click North to only show the sales in North zone. Uh, note the report filter that is cell B1 changes to North. Pivot table slicers are very useful as you can customize them, filter them, connect them to multiple pivot tables and lots more. Now let's uh, reset the slicer using the clear filter button and once again on the analyze tab in the filter group click insert slicer. Check item name and sales executive and click OK. Click on an item in a slicer. Say south zone to filter the pivot table for sales only in south zone. Other slicers will automatically show up related items at the top. Slicers are directly connected to fields in a pivot table. If we filter on the sales executive field added as column label. Say we select only one executive and click OK. The slicer responds as well. To enable more than one item at a time on the slicer, hold down the control key as you click the buttons. So here we have selected three. You can also use the shift key instead of control to enable all items between two buttons. There is no requirement that a slicer field should be included in the pivot table. For example, item name field is not part of the pivot table. Still, we can ask it to display sales for a particular product, say shirts, for the selected executives. And the slicer continues to function normally. Use the clear filter button to reset a slicer. Or you can clear all filters at once using the clear button on the ribbon and clicking on clear filters. To remove a slicer from your worksheet, just select the slicer and hit delete on your keypad. 